So guys welcome today we're going to look at how to sort data in a recyclable previously in some of the series that we have looked at we've looked at how to sort data in a list view we've looked at how to sort data in a grid view today we are back onto a recyclable now of course our data by default of course if we run our project the data is not sorted for instance you can look right here this is Kepler this is our first item Columbia right here is our last you can see some of the data in between is actually not sorted so what we're going to see we're going to see how to sort it either ascending or descending okay in an ascending or descending manner so it's actually quite a simple tutorial you come click the sort button first we're going to click it in an uh, we're going to sort it in an ascending manner from Apollo 15 all the way down to W map right you go ahead click sort again we're going to toggle the sort between dub uh, from w map to apollo 15 that is in a descending manner okay so this is a simple example we're going to make use of our collections uh, api to sort our data and then of course bind the data the sorted data to our list to our recyclable read you can see the recyclable actually comprises cards uh, card views right here uh, of course with text okay card view with text views this this is what we're going to look at so join us to get started now the first thing of course go ahead to file a new project in android studio type your application name all right then our minimum sdk i'm going to leave it as a page 15 i'm going to use the basic activity here as my template then of course you click finish to create the project once you've created your project, the first thing we're going to move over to our build.cradle. Alright, so come navigate over right here to your build.cradle, the up level, uh, build.cradle right here. You can see the module up. So you can see, for instance, here, this is where the minimum SDK uh, version is specified. The target SDK version right here is also specified. Now, what's what we're going to do we're going to add the dependencies of uh, what we're going to need right here okay so first of course the app compact and the design support library of course we've added them uh, right here we're also going to add the card view okay this is the card view uh, right here please do so and then of course sync your project uh, just to include those particular classes in our project to add them in our project so card view design support library as well as the app compact once you've done that one we're going to move over to our layouts if you choose the basic activity it's going to create two layouts by default the activity main as well as the content main the activity main this is our template layout first you can see we have the app bar layout the toolbar the floating action button these are specified by default then also including the content main content main this is going to have of course our content our widgets our views inside this particular content main so i just have a linear layout of course with a button on top of a recyclable okay the orientation of the layout of course is vertical so we have our sort button right here we also have our recycle view uh just below it okay so this will be clicking the sort uh, then of course we're going to be toggling between the ascending and descending uh, manner lastly we have in our layout we have of course our uh, model.xml this rate of course is the model for our card view which shall get inflated of course to each card no take note of course as the root tag we have our card view right there then of course inside it we simply have a simple text view okay once we have that one then of course we're going to come to our classes so our classes are actually simple first we have three classes so of course uh, my view holder my adapter as well as main activity if we start with my view holder this is a simple class right here it's our view holder class it's going to be holding our views of course that shall be displayed of course in our card view so you can see we have this name txt for instance this is the what we're going to have in our card view we just go ahead of course uh, initialize it inside our constructor uh item view is passed right here okay then name txt equal to we use the item view to reference our name txt 
find view by id r dot id dot name txt we cast it to a text view that's our view holder class take note of course it's deriving from the recycler view r dot view holder class then next we're going to come from inside our my adapter okay this is the class that's going to adapt our data of course to our views first we're going to make it extend recycler view dot adapter the generic type is the my view holder class then we have two objects we have the context object we also have the spacecrafts array list okay an array list of strings that you are calling spacecrafts our constructor is going to pass two objects first the context object as well as the spacecraft object so they pass get passed to us then of course we assign them to these are local objects next of course three classes are going to be three methods are going to be uh, generated right here if you extend inherit from this recycler view dot adapter first on create view holder on bind view holder and then of course get item count read so of course the item count is returning an integer which of course to us we're going to have right here the uh, spacecraft dot size the total number of uh items that we're going to have in our recycler view so does it that's what we're returning the size of the spacecrafts then we also have the on create view holder right here when our view holder of course is created it's taking two objects a view group that we're calling parent and then of course the view type okay the type of the view so what we're going to do view v layout inflator dot from we're going to inflate of course uh, our layout which layout of this layout right here r dot layout dot model we pass in the view group then of course a uh, false uh, boolean right here then of course we're going to return an instance of my view holder passing in our v which is our view object inside the constructor on bind view holder is taking a my view holder object as well as the position so holder dot name txt dot set text spacecrafts that get position so position we pass it inside our get method is going to give us the spacecraft object the current spacecraft object we set it of course to an mtxt this is it this is our my adapter class next we're going to move to our main activity the main activity of course is an activity right here that derives from our app compat uh app compat activity right here okay so let me just optimize my imports okay first we're going to have these three declarations the rv which is our recycler view of course our sort button as well as our my adapter so we come first inside our on create method the on create method is going to in fact before that one take note of this one right here first we have a static array list uh, that we're calling spacecrafts we go ahead and instantiate it right here then of course we have a boolean right here that we are calling ascending by default it's set to true all right we'll look at it later on inside our own crate we're going to call two methods this dot initialize views this dot fill spacecrafts so first we're going to come with the initialize views method so it's a simple method right here first we're going to just initialize our recycler view find view by id r dot id dot rv then we set its layout manager rv dot set layout manager equal to new linear layout manager then we passing in this of course the layout manager linear layout manager right here is going to arrange is going to position our recycler view items of course in a linear fashion okay in this case in a vertical uh linear fashion so sort button find view by id r dot id dot sort button then Search button dot click all right we'll come to it let's come and then explore method right here first so sort data this method is taking in a boolean okay ascending so if ascending all right that is if this variable ascending is set to true then collections dot sort spacecrafts all right if the ascending variable is true we're going to sort it right here now collections the sort by default is going to sort to in an ascending manner all right so we just call it otherwise if that's not the case then we're simply going to reverse so collections the reverse 
at spacecrafts we either sort in an ascending or of course in a descending manner so of course if ascending is passed if it's set to true of course then we're going to sort right here in ascending manner otherwise we reverse which is actually sorting in a descending manner then of course adapter equal to new my adapter this spacecrafts this is our context then of course spacecrafts are already done are the set adapter adapter okay that's it we set our adapter to a recyclable then we have this helper method called field spacecrafts it's simple first to make sure we clear our spacecrafts to avoid duplications then of course we fill our spacecraft with our data once we filled it of course we, we're going to add data of course uh, pass our data reach to our my adapter constructor then of course are we the set adapter set adapter to a recyclable so that our data can be shown of course in our recyclable let's come to this sort button when the sort button is clicked this is what we're going to do sort data is taking this boolean uh, uh, called ascending this variable ascending right here of course by default is true now of course by default if you click it the first time we sort in ascending manner then once we sorted it we're going to negate that particular variable okay remember it's a boolean so ascending equal to not ascending we're just negating it so if it was ascending we're going to assign it to descending if it was descending we're going to assign it to ascending we're simply if the user clicks the sort button we're toggling uh, between ascending and descending okay just by reassigning of course the value of the variable uh, right here uh, from ascending to descending does it guys does it that's our class uh, right there this is our code now of course go ahead run the code we're going to attach the source code below take care i'll catch you in the next class